Alright, hey guys, so today I'm going to be taking a quick look at a game called Ballistic Overkill. This is a early access multiplayer first person shooter that you can find on Steam. It's very similar to the likes of Counter-Strike, although in this game there is a class based system and every class has their own unique loadout. So I'll just go through each of the seven classes. There is the Berserker, the Vanguard, the Wraith, which is like the Sniper, the Shadow, the Grenadier, the Tank, and finally the Marksman. Every class has their own unique skills and you can actually change out your skills as you level up each class. So I'm just going to go to the Wraith, one of the skills is Steady Arms, grants plus 30% headshot damage, plus 25% recoil reduction, and 20% accuracy while moving. If I click on the skill you can see that there's other skills that we can unlock later on as we level up the class. And you level up by earning experience from getting kills and just playing the game normally, uh, winning matches and so forth. You can also unlock different weapons, there's a bunch of different weapons to unlock. So it adds quite a bit of replayability as you uh, progress with each class. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, never mind, I'll just keep it the same. You also have a grenade and a knife. I don't think there's any other um, throwables, just the grenade and knife. Uh, there's also skins and accessories. The way you unlock skins is very similar to Counter-Strike, I believe. Uh, there is a lockbox system where I guess you just naturally earn skins and boxes by uh, like leveling up and by playing the game normally. I think you might also be able to buy skins off the marketplace, so uh, all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and start a game. If I haven't mentioned this already, this game is only $7 on Steam, so it's very cheap compared to most multiplayer shooters. And it's a lot of fun, it's very well polished, and the graphics are actually quite nice. One thing I should mention before I be oh the game just ended. One thing I should mention before we start is that I absolutely suck at mouse and keyboard shooters. So keep that in mind. I'm more used to playing um, playing on consoles like Halo and Call of Duty with a Xbox controller. So we'll see how it goes. If I don't do very well, I'm sorry. But this is just a like first impressions type video. Alright, so we're just waiting for the next match to start. It's going to start in 20 seconds. We'll just wait. It'll be nice to start a game from the beginning. Normally I just like join mid-game and we're already losing by like a ton. But I've only played two games so far. And just my first impressions over those two games, I had a lot of fun. Even though I wasn't that great. But I feel like I can learn and I feel feel like anyone can enjoy this game even if you're not good at shooters because every class is a little bit different some classes are close range and you can sprint in this game so you can actually move very very quickly we'll start out playing as a sniper because I think everyone um, everyone who watches like first person shooter or first person shooters loves watching like sniper classes uh, I'm not saying I'm the best this class has a unique perk as well if you stand still for like three seconds Oh, I killed him! Oh my gosh! If you stand still for like three seconds, you get a sort of like a camo. Uh, it's not complete invisibility, they can still see you, but it makes it a little bit harder for them to see you. This looks like a great sniper or sniper arena. Oh crap. Oh man, he like went invisible. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, run, run, run. Oh, I missed. Uh, we'll try one more time with the marksman, but I think this uh, this map would be better for like a shotgun class or a close quarter like some machine gun class. Um, there's a lot of cover. It'd be very quick with the sniper. Oh, there's a guy. All right, we're gonna go to the corner. Oh, oh, what? Where'd that guy come from? <laughs> Alright, I gotta try one more time, because that guy came out of nowhere. Like, absolutely nowhere. I guess he was behind me. I'll try coming out of this door. Don't see anyone. Okay, let's go up here. Man, it's so hard to see anyone. Where are they? I think there's a guy above me, or below me. Got 
could I could maybe camp here and wait for them to come out of their spawn. There's a guy down there. Saw him for a second. There's also a guy running. Oh wait, that was the enemy right in front of me. <laughs> I thought that was an ally. With a shadow figure. There's another guy there, another guy over there. Man, they are running all over the place. Oh, there's a guy up there. Got him. Oh, I almost got the double kill. That would have been cool. Alright, let's switch classes. This is just Team Deathmatch, but there's also a bunch of other um, game modes, like Strongholds or Capture the Point. And I think there's some other ones as well. Uh, let's try playing as the Berserker, which is like a shotgun class. Ooh, got him. There's also a bunch of health packs around the map, I'm sure you've seen them. So that you can heal when you get damage. That's one thing I really like about this game, and one thing I hate about Counter-Strike is there's like no uh, health packs anywhere on Counter-Strike, but in this game you can heal up, which is nice. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Overwatch in certain ways. There's also a knife. I could have knifed him. I probably should have. It was like the first time I've actually snuck up on someone. We could try camping outside the spawn, like right here. There's a guy. I'm gonna try to knife him. Yes! Backstab plus five. Oh my god, they're all around me. Look at them look at the radar. There's like five guys. They don't know I'm here. <laughs> they don't know I'm here. Oh! Oh! Yes! And there's a guy, yep, I see him. Let's run over and get him. Oh crap, oh crap. Oh, I think I was low on health. I don't know. I died very quickly there. Might have been, sh I might have been get getting shot by someone else. Let's play as the shadow character. Shadow character has like dual uh, auto fire pistols. Kind of reminds me of Call of Duty. One of the Call of Duties had like a like a dual pistol class like this. I think it was Modern Warfare Three. Okay, I'm gonna try using the, the uh, katana. Watch this. Oh, assassinated! Oh, what? I died fast. I think he hit me directly with a grenade. Let's try out the grenade class. What's the perks? Last laugh. Grenadier drops a live grenade upon death. 25% mobility for 4 seconds after throwing a grenade. Throws two grenades instead of one, but increases the grenade cooldown by four seconds. Oh. So this class throws two grenades at the same time, and then it increases your mobility. Oh, come on. Oh, I got him. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> See, I'm having a lot of fun. Even though I'm like a huge noob at like shooters, I feel like anyone can be good at this game with like some practice. Just because every class plays a little bit differently. And you can easily sneak up behind enemies as well. And like, oh, what? That was like a direct hit. I should have killed that guy. I guess I should have. Let's play the Grenader one more time. I feel like this class is sort of like a mid to long range class where you're supposed to like stay back and shoot him from a distance. Was that two grenades? I don't know. <laughs> I think you have infinite ammo as well. Yeah, you do. Oh, come on! Yes! Oh my god. I think the grenader has a little bit more health as well. Man. Oh wow, I can't believe I didn't kill that guy. I think I got sniped. 
We could try playing as the sniper one more time as well. I don't know, I, I, I feel like every class is fun, which is surprising. Normally, like, with games like this, I tend to hate a lot of classes and I stick with one class, but this seems kind of fun. I think we'll stay here and then we'll just try to... Oh. I think we'll just stay in this corner and try to snipe people from this corner. Maybe. Well, we need some health. Let's get some health. All right, got a little bit of health. Not we're not we're not at max, but I think we'll have enough to at least withstand like one attack. Oh man! Oh crap! My aim is totally off. Oh, the the last shot. I felt like it should have connected. We have to play one more time with the sniper. As you can see, my aiming is just so far off. Uh, I'm not used to the sensitivity or anything. <laughs> it's kind of cool that you can't spawn camp. There's like a little door that gives you protection, so if they come too close, um, obviously they'll probably die because they can't kill you from... Oh, finally! Got my revenge on that guy. Got a good kill there. We should try to go up to the to the third floor or whatever, the up top. Oh man! Oh, I feel like if you were good at sniping, you could absolutely dominate at this game. I'm just not that good. I don't have like the quick shot that most people do. What is the Vanguard? 16% max health, when hit by an enemy or grenades, Vanguard gains plus 20% rate of fire and 35% reload speed. We'll try playing as the Vanguard. The Vanguard seems like a standard like soldier class, nothing special. Has like an assault rifle with a nice like hollow sight. Can't get me in here, noobs. <laughs> Got a kill assist. Oh, the time's running out. Oh, got him. Try using the oh look at this, a one-handed sawed-off shotgun. I wanna I wanna get one kill with this before the game ends. That would make my day. You might show up on the radar when you're running. See, there's there's two guys above me. Need to be careful here. I don't see anyone. And there's a guy over this way. I see him running. Oh no. He's up top. There he is. Oh, it, it shoots twice. Oh, I got a kill. Oh, I tried to double fire. Oh, see, that was so much fun. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this game is a ton of fun. Um, I went 15 and 10, 1.5 KD. I think that's great. Uh, I'm not used to playing shooters with a mouse and keyboard. I feel like I can get better if I practice a lot. Uh, I obviously don't play Counter-Strike. I don't play any other uh, like PC shooter. So uh, yeah, a lot of fun. I think we'll play one more game. Let's see, how long is this video? It is 13 minutes. Yeah, we have time for one more game and then I'll probably end it here. I'm having a, a blast though. New race skill, critical hit, when invisible race gain 25% damage. That is a great skill. And I unlocked a new berserker weapon, the thumper. Oh, okay, so how do we go to our... Maybe I should quit out of here. I'm going to quit out of this match and I'm going to go to my loadout screen just so I have a little bit more time. Um, I'm not sure if you can switch loadouts while in mid-game. I think you can, but I'm not positive about that so let's just go ahead and go here uh which was it the berserker he got a new shotgun wait a minute so you can kind of see the differences here so the thumper has higher dps and higher fire rate but the accuracy is lower a little bit the range is a little bit lower the reload speed is um faster maybe but the mobility is lower as well. So every gun has different mobility. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I think the Thumper is definitely a better weapon. So we're going to try using the Thumper. I think that'll be cool. And what else did we unlock? I thought we unlocked a new skill. Yes, the critical hit skill. While invisible, race gain plus 25% damage. I think that is definitely better than the other perk we had. 
So we have plus 30% headshot damage and plus 25% damage while we're cloaked. Oh man, that's that's a good combo. Um, so yeah, let's uh, find a game on a quick match. So since this game is an early access, I do have very high hopes that this game will increase in popularity. It already has, um, it already has a ton of positive reviews, over a thousand positive reviews, which is crazy um, for an early access game. So this game is very popular. It seems like there's always a good amount of people on. It also says it has cross-platform support, so. Uh, so uh, you can play with people on like PlayStation and Xbox, I guess. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about that, but that's cool. As long as there's a constant stream of people playing the game, I feel like this game it can only go up from here. I mean, I'm not a fan of Counter-Strike, but I am digging this. So this is uh, King of the Hill. Oh man, there's a lag spike there. Crap. <laughs> yeah, for some reason there was a huge lag spike and... Or I think there was a lag spike, otherwise I just blinked and then I just died, I don't know. Um, but obviously this game is in early access so I can't hate on it for having lag spikes. The hit detection seems to be a little bit off as well sometimes. Or it could just be me, but sometimes it feels like um, I should be hitting when I'm missing. Um, but obviously I'm not good at shooter, so... I think there's a guy down here. There's an ally. I thought that was an enemy. There's a guy over here. Oh, there's a guy behind me. Oh, man. Okay, so it seems like I can hold the mouse button down while shooting the shotgun. I didn't know that. Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Oh, I always think there should be, like, a path that way. I don't know why. We're gonna try using the shotgun one more time. Seems like that shadow guy just wiped out my entire team. God, man. I feel like they should die faster from the shotgun. Oh, killed the shadow. So the shadow's perk is like when you're sprinting, you're like kind of camo, but not fully. Oh man, I should have switched again. Okay, so I'm not really liking the shotgun class very much. Um, it doesn't do it enough damage. Uh, so let's switch. I don't know what to switch to. Let's, let's switch to the grenader again. I had some fun with the grenader. Seems like it does a lot of splash damage. It doesn't do like, it's not like overpowered, but it, I feel like it's really good. At least when enemies are, like, in tight spaces. Is that enemy? Oh, crap. I think I missed the shadow guy. Why is everyone- Okay, everyone's playing as a shadow, so let's play as a shadow. Let's get some kills with the katana, I guess. Take that! He killed himself. <laughs> oh man, I was low on health. I should have went back and got some health. Let's play as a shadow one more time. I'm doing horrible this game. Uh, obviously, my KD is going to suffer big time, but we're just having fun. No big deal. What the heck? Why was that guy not dying? I guess I need to be closer. Man, you have to be like super close with a ninja. You might as well just use the katana. You, s you run faster with the katana. Like look how fast I run now and then you run super fast with the katana. Might as well just use the katana. Now I need to get some health. 
I think if I like get a kill and then I run back, get some health, and then run back to get another kill, I think this class would be super good. Oh man, I think he used his perk where when you die you drop a grenade, and I was in uh, like a very tight corner, so there's nothing I can really do there. I might have been able to run out, but he was just shooting at the ground. Kind of a cheap move. We are winning big time though. It looks like my teammates are doing most of the work. Nice. Oh, triple kill! Oh my god, double kill. I got three kills total though, this life. That's awesome. Oh man, I should have went back and got some more health. I died really, really fast. He has a veteran Blackhawk special uh, unique weapon, I guess. Let's play as a sniper one more time. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't know. I'm having too much fun. I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's just because I haven't played a shooter in a long time, but this is nice. <sighs> that was a horrible shot. I don't know what I was doing there. <laughs> I feel like I need to, like, wait a little bit. Take my shot. Ah, holy crap. Oh my, that grenade almost killed me. Yeah, I'm gonna go in this corner. Actually, let's, uh, I don't know, let's try, try standing like right here. Oh, how did he see me? Uh, I'm just not good at the sniper. I want to try it one more time with the sniper. Just because I feel like I'm just doing terrible with it. What I've noticed in a lot of my previous games, whenever it's like a objective, like capture the point or king the hill, it seems like the game typically ends when the time runs out and not whenever you reach the objective. The objectives are kind of uh, long. But I think that's cool. It makes the game last a little bit longer. Don't know how I'm missing. Got him, finally. Just waiting until I see someone. There's one. Oh, yes, headshot. That was a nice shot. See, I'm not like super bad. It just takes me like an extra second compared to most people. <laughs> oh, look at that. That was like a side snipe. A swipe. Side swipe. <laughs> um, I don't know what to pick now. We haven't played as the tank. The tank has a little bit more health, I think. And you gain damage, or you gain additional damage. Uh, I haven't seen anyone play as the tank. It's a very slow class. What is this? Shotgun. So it looks like you have a, like an LMG, and the perk, from what I read, um, when you get shot, you f you have an increased fire rate, and I think you do a little bit more damage. And I think this class has the most amount of health out of any class. Also, I don't think the tank can take uh, headshot damage, which is interesting. Gotta reload. Such a long reload time. Ah, uh, grenade! Ah, oh, yeah, I was screwed. I was taking way too much damage. Okay, so it seems like the game is about to end. Yeah, it's gonna end soon. There's probably no way for me to get over there in time. Three, two, one. Damn it. <laughs> Your team won, sweet. So I think my KD on that game was just absolutely abysmal. 12 and 11, yeah, not too great. At least I went positive. I thought I was going to go negative for sure. Um, let's look at what our, what experiences we got. We'll probably unlock some new things, maybe. Nope. Yes, we did. We unlocked a new submachine gun. It's just fun to play as all the classes. I don't know, I'm really digging this game. Uh, I'm not going to drag out this video too long though. I might make another video just playing normally, just for fun. Um, if you guys want me to make another video, let me know in the comments. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys got a good 
like initial impression of what this game is all about. There's no campaign or single player experience. I kind of wish there was a tutorial because when I first started I was like completely confused. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's very simple. The controls are very basic. There's not there's not a whole lot to learn. All you have to know is like G to throw a grenade and F to use knife. Um, but everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Very fun game. Um, definitely fun with friends, I would expect. I think this would be a great game to play with friends, like in a group on like TeamSpeak or Discord or something. That would be awesome. Um, but yeah, that's about all I have to say. So yeah, get this game on Steam. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. It's only $7, like I said, and I feel like it can only get better from here. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, Thanks for watching and have a great day.